Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel, and today we are back in the post story of Minecraft Harry Potter, and we are here in Oxmead, and we are just going to explore, like, I don't exactly know what I really want to do with this, I just, first things first, I want to put up the sound a bit, because I doubt that we'll have any problem now. So, yeah, this is Zonko's. It's cool. Oh, is that... Oh, that is a cool easter egg. This is the hat that Luna wears in that Quidditch game in the 50th. That is cool. What can I tell oh. you, Zonko? Alright. Hmm. What can I do hmm. for you? Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. more advertisement hmm. notice board. No, thank you. Sorry, Zonko. Yeah. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this, honestly, because I was very taken aback with um, with how the game actually ended. So I mean, I guess I can go and find these three places. That's what I said I was going to do. Oops, that's what I said I was going to do. So, I mean, I guess we can go and find the three broomsticks. Who are you? Oh, Neville. Huh. Hmm. Can I help you? I'm sure it's somewhere by the post office. Hmm. Okay, I, hmm. I can help you. Toad hunt. Okay, search Hogsmeade to find Neville's toad. Where is the post office, anyway? I mean... Is it this? No, this is Oxmead. So yeah, I really don't know, but I didn't want to end the series like that. Like, it just didn't feel right. You know, it just didn't feel right. Okay, so yeah, this is the three broomsticks. Oh, hello, Ron. Ron and Harry just casually. Hmm. Hmm. I know you hmm. are. Arrow. Okay. Hmm. Do you want me to go to the borough? Oh. I guess hmm. we can go to the borough. I do want to go to the borough. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is... Wait. Ow. Oh, you bastard toad. You bastard toads. Yeah. Okay, um, I better go s speak to Molly. And just hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> toads have been. See if you can do anything about them. All right, take care of the toads. So yeah, I've been defeating toads just for nothing, really. Okay, give me the stupefy, and I'll I'll take care of these toads. Where are you, toads? Where are you? Haha! Alright. 
This has turned into a toad hunting episode, not all that exciting. I hear you. Oh, I'm hearing you. You can't escape. Or apparently you can't. No, you can't. You daft toad. There we go. Ah. Venomous. Top quality content right here. Top quality. Me getting thrown around by terrorists. Wait, what? Hmm. What? Oh god. Am I gonna die to toads? I'm gonna die to toads. If I'm not careful, that is. Oh, come on. I had him. There we go. Boom. No, 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 Just... no. Ah! I'm not up to die to toads. Uh, not today. Alright, three more. Three more toads and please let's call it a day. Oh, it's too dark. Okay. One more. All right. Let's just do a bit of magic if I can. Time set day. Ah, much better. Okay, this was magic. Magic. So yeah, I'll be using cheats here and there because this is the end, so there's nothing really. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, thank you very much! Okay, but now, really, I'm going to explore the burrow. So. Okay, this is one of the rooms. I don't know whose room it is on each floor. I do know they have specific rooms in it. I know Ron's in the last in the last floor or yeah the last floor beneath the attic okay they don't appear to be tailored specifically to any of the siblings so all right oh I do love how they structured the burrow it really looks cool it looks really cool I mean just like any other just like any other part of this map, the burrow looks amazing. I mean, look at that. I mean, just look at that. Okay, this is probably Ron's room. We never did saw it in the movies, I think. Not, not specifically, so... Uh, I guess I haven't been here. Okay, this is the twins' rooms, it shows. So there is no ad attic here. No attic here. So no vampire in the attic either. Okay. That's understandable. They do have a vampire in the attic. I mean, I, I, how I do not know, but they do have a vampire in the attic. So... If you've read the books, you'd know that 
they actually used a vampire to pose as Ron when they tried to leave the house. It, it's funny, like they dress the vampire with old clothes. But yeah, they don't seem to have implemented him here by chance, so yeah. Okay, we'll do a bit of parkour. We'll parkour our way down on the Weasley Manor. What do you want, Mr. Arthur? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Friend of Ron's, are you? I am, yes. Hmm. Ron tells me you come from a family of muggles. I bet you know all about the muggle world. Perhaps you could do me a favor. Hmm. I'm most... Everything from letter boxes. Go to London. Hmm. Okay, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Hmm. Hmm. Have you found all the muggle items? No, not really, sir. Okay, I mean... Where to go? Because... Does this leave me anywhere? I'm tempted to just travel the roads and just... See where they can potentially lead me. Okay. No, I can't jump in. Okay, so this leads me nowhere because there's no road. I believe that that road there could lead me to the Lovegood residence. Because the Lovegoods and the Weasleys are actually neighbors. So, I guess, if I had to guess, I would guess that the Lovegoods residence is somewhere ar along here. Let's see, let's let's do a bit of countryside traveling. Oh, there's a windmill there. Oh, color me interested. All right, I don't know if the road takes me there or I'll just have to travel there on. Okay, so. It does not take me there, it takes me through the mountains, it seems. Huh. Okay, this is very interesting. Let's let's see where this road takes us. We'll go back to that windmill, I promise you that. We'll go back to that windmill. I just wanna know. What am I getting into here? If to anywhere, that is. This could all be just a hoax. But I don't believe it is. And I think we are already seeing... Yep. The... Yep. The silhouette of the Lovegood residence. Oh god, yes. Just... I mean, I wonder, is there anything stopping me from going there? Like, I can imagine that like there, over those mountains is Hogwarts or London or something. Because this has to be all in the same map. So, I can already imagine that over some of these mountains lies Hogwarts or London. And they're just divided into small sects. So, yeah. Hello, Luna. Mm. Nargles and Rexperts. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. Ah! The hidden en entrance is right above the library. Okay. There are two things I've lost. Two shoes, two strictly blue socks, my croc necklace. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we need to go to the Room of Requirements. Alright, so we actually wanted to go there, so we might as well... Ooh, there's the basement. And when there's a basement, there is most likely loot. Yes, Mr. Lovegood, I will loot you good. Ah, there's a staircase into the house. Hello, pay no mind to me, I am just 
I am just looting. Just normal looter stuff. No problem. Oh. Oh god. Cobwebs. Ugh. You gotta work for the loot. Okay, no, no loot here. Uh, here we go. Uh, cobwebs. Alright, let's go up. Up, up, and away. Alright. Oh! Hello. Oh, the rampant tusk that explodes in the books. Yeah, they, they, these guys get their house blown up by an rampant tusk. My god. Now we all know how explosive a rampants can get from the Fantastic Beasts movie. Which, let's be honest, the first was cool, the second one not so much. Like, the second had little to nothing to do with creatures and more with the political side of things. And I am, uh, I am honestly scared for the third movie. Like, I wasn't for the second, but I got scared of it after watching it. And I am now scared for the third, for the third movie. So, I mean, I, I don't know what else to think. I should re-watch the second movie, honestly, just just to remind myself of it and and really. Ooh. So yeah, the Love Good Residence is just a short mountain hike away, but I went all the way around. So yeah, I'm gonna cross country, and we gonna we have to check that windmill. Like, we do have to check that windmill, so... If it's the last thing I do today, I will check that windmill. And let's just work some of our magic. Because, let's be honest, this map works best in daylight. Honestly, so... We'll do a bit of cross-country, and we'll check that windmill that we saw in the distance. There it is. Okay, let's go. Let's parkour. It appears to be an abandoned windmill. Like, it doesn't appear to to have anything around it. Well, let's see. Ta -da -da. I keep saying it and I gonna, I'm gonna say it until the end of this series, until you guys are tired of me, if you're still there. This map is amazing. Like, really amazing. Even in this area, where apparently there's not a lot. And there isn't. Like, so far we have the Weasleys, the Lovegoods, and now this mysterious windmill. That is probably empty, or... Oh, there's a snitch here, so... People... People do lose a lot of snitches in this world. People do lose a lot of snitches. So yeah, it's just a mill. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it's just a mill. <laughs> we got a snitch. Not bad, we got a snitch. Apparently there's a path here that I missed. Huh, interesting. I don't know if this path is going to take me anywhere, and I most likely won't run it, because I've been... I've been on the other side of this path anyway, so... I'm gonna cross country a bit more, and I'm going to try to find a peak, a high ground vantage point, to see exactly where I stand, and I'll pump up the render distance for a bit, just so that we can see. Turn back if you've wandered too far. Are you going to do something about it? Or is it just... Oh! Oh, you have. Okay. You have, so... 
So, okay, my theory was not necessarily wrong, but certainly proved that we this is no more than scenery, honestly. And I'm gonna do a bit more magic so that we can actually see if there's actually anything. Let's see if he tells me to... Yeah, he still tells me to bugger off. Okay, so he still tells me to bugger off. Let me pump the render distance now before getting there. So let's pump it up to 24. Like, because I think that this hair is literally just an edge. Oh! I mean, sorry. Oh, bugger me. So yeah, this is literally just an edge. Can I even... Oh my god, I can access... Like, where is map? Okay, I can access... I don't, yeah, I can't do it. Ah! I wanted, I wanted to use a map. Like, to map out all these areas. But yeah, I mean, I guess that here I can also go. Okay, so that's the road that took me to the love goods. Okay, there is something there. Like, there is trees and something. Oh, I've wandered too far. But yeah, I guess this area here is the area space of... Yeah, it has this. It had the love good, the burrow, and nothing else. So that was interesting, I guess. It, it's a small. It's not a small place. I mean, it is kind of small. It has some secrets in it, like the the windmill with the snitch. You have the the wizard card in um, in the Lovegood residence. So overall. Overall, it's an interesting area. I don't know if there's anything else behind the burrow, but I don't think there is. I th I believe it's all just mountain ranges. There's this lake here. My goodness, look at that. I wish... I wish Minecraft maps generated like this. Like, I really wish they did. Because I... I have a problem just building normally in Minecraft. So yeah, there's nothing else here. This is really a space on its own. And you are limited when traveling to the boundaries of the place. So that is very, very interesting. Like there's some deep, there's some deep computer magic at work here, really. Like, and look at this river. Like, look at this. Like, all the different springs and the way they converge. Oh, this is amazing. This is a marvel of world building in Minecraft. Really. Like, I wish Minecraft terrain generated like this. I really did. Like, I really, really did. Let me pump it up a bit more, like... Let's go to extreme. I know my computer won't like it and it'll take a while to generate. But I was looking to see if we could have the three locations in one sitting. So... <laughs> okay, yeah, my, my PC is good, but not that good, it seems. Like... I mean... Look at that, like, sure you have that fog there, but, I mean, this is this area, this is literally what it has in this area, the love goods, the burrow, and that windmill, I mean, I've taken a screenshot, this, this is cool, so, yeah, let's move back up, let's, survival ourselves and let's dive deep into the pits of this lake enough magic now we splash okay. 
Okay. Da, 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 da. Here we are. We are back. Okay. Now, I think that next time I'll probably do the same but in London. Yeah, I said Oxmead, but I'm going to London now. And I'm gonna end this episode there. And next one, next time, uh, where should we start? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Privet Drive. I do not know what's there in Privet Drive, and in fact I might explore it now. Just, just to be sure. Like, okay, let's... Let's move again, because there's not a lot here, like, there's a few houses, and that's it, but none of the houses are open to us, except our own, so I don't think, yeah, there's a bit of a wasteland here, oh, that is London, if I, if I do believe, yeah, that is London. Oh, oh boy. Let it load for a bit. But yeah, that is London. I'll. I probably won't be able to cross all of these. What is this? It's just some weird shenanigans. <laughs> I don't really know what this is. But maybe this is probably here to mean something. But yeah. That over there is London. Or at least a placeholder for London, maybe? A placeholder for some of the for some of the buildings. That's Bro Borough of Islington. Oh, I think this is the... Ah, oh, this is the asset they used for the Grimold Place thing. Oh, this is amazing. So, okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come here like this, but... Ah, okay, so we are right... Right behind... The London Eye. We are near Grimald Place. Oh my, this is... Yeah, I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. Sorry. Uh, I know where I'm going since I'm in creative. I'm sorry I can't go faster than this, but it's the limitations of the map. And the fact that I can go creative like this is already a testament to how far I can go. Don't mind the flying shrimp, dear citizens, do not mind the flying shrimp. I I am a friend. Oh god, render distance, please don't poop out on me now, please. There we go, don't... Oh, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, let's try and pump it down a bit yeah there this was a bad idea my PC can't take this yet all right oh and there goes the sound my dear viewers we broke the sound but I'd say it was worth it we are on top <laughs> Of the bloody London Eye. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. But, my dear friends, my dear viewers, this is it. For this episode, we explored the area around the borough. We explored a bit of Privet Drive and a bit of London. We will explore more of London the next time. And, honestly, the next episodes will be like this. I don't know if I'm going to push them up to 20 or if I'll stop at 15 and I'll do 15 a bigger massive episode where I explore a bit of the outside of Hogwarts. I would like to try to find the Chamber of Secrets, the Mirror of Erised, the Shrinking Shack, the, Who the Whooping Willow, the Forbidden Forest. So I don't know, maybe 
maybe I'll do try to push it up to 20. If not, I'll just finish it at 15 and I'll explore it on my own. However it is, I feel like it. We'll see in the next time. But, my dear friends, my dear viewers, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like, a comment, and if you'd be so kind, do subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and or like others that will come in the future, we do not know. So, I'll see you guys next time, bye bye, and have a fantastic day.